Okay, YouTubers, so today's the interesting video I have, you know, hope this could help someone in the adventure to change the engine. So what I'm basically doing, I'm changing the engine in a 2005 Acura TL, which is a V6 engine. Okay, so you can see that I already removed the engine and I have the used one on the floor there. Because this engine is making a lot of noise, it's knocking like it was run out of oil or something. So when you start it, the engine is knocking, a loud banging sound, and then it's smoking. So there's no sense of rebuilding it. The cheapest way for the customer to do this in there is just to replace the engine with a with the used engine. Okay? So, so the step to follow to do this job is, first, you have to start removing all your wiring which you have to take out on this model here, you have to take out the top intake. You have a top intake and you have a lower intake. Okay, you remove that so you can get to the wires and disconnect all your ignition coil wire, crank sensor, okay? And your drive belt, lose that and lose out your AC compressor, your power steering is right here. And so this is all at the back on the car, this is bolted to your torque converter. Okay, so you have to release your torque converter. You have to go underneath the car engine mount, hoses, electrical wire, and the two things that you have to loose out on this one here, you have to take out your the exhaust, and then you take out the the manifold, exhaust manifold on both sides because it's a V six engine. So you have one manifold at the back here, and one manifold here. Okay, so you remove those two manifold, so you have enough space and your job is going to be more easy. And you have to disconnect, there is 8 bolt on this pulley here. This is the flywheel, 8 bolt on the flywheel that bolted onto the torque. So you have to remove that, very important to remove those bolts first. And when you finish, you know that you remove all the bolts, you just take your, one of your fingers Push it up in there and then see if the torque converter turns, then you know that you get all the bolts, okay? And these are the oil pan that catch the oil, that is the way the oil goes and sit until it's ready to pump around the engine, okay? So basically, that is the, that is the back of the engine. So this is the front of the engine where we have the, this is the color, the flywheel. Yeah, this is the big pulley. Okay, and here you have your tensioner, idle pulley, your alternator. Okay, and here, and to make it easy, I disconnect your. Here you have a, you have a the, what you call it, the oil filter, and the oil filter is going to the housing. So I remove that because what happens is have a, when it's on, it's an extension about couple inches off so you know it's very close in there so you remove that so you have no problem to get it out and one with this engine is it's not difficult to take it out because the engine is flush and the torque is flush like some car you have to remove and you need a lot of room to remove the engine but this car you don't need that because everything just slips out and you have like less than half an inch to just bring the engine straight up so you don't have any you don't need a much, like some flywheel are, is way out. It can be like about maybe two inches out, one inches out. So you need like one inches clearance. And some car you don't have the clearance, so you'll have to do so many things. Some car you really have to bring the engine down. Or you have to take the engine and the transmission because you have no choice. Because of the clearance is not enough. But this model here is very simple. And then these are the whole... You have your bell housing bolt here and it's very important that <laughs> excuse when you're going to reinstall your engine or for a transmission in that case whatever you're going to be doing there's a pin here you have two pin on each engine okay one here and one on the, one remain on the transmission okay so it's very important that you re, that you put back those two pin because those two spins maybe doesn't seem to like it's, it's mean a lot, but it's mean a lot because those two pins will keep the engine and transmission to come apart because of vibration and a lot of torque. 
okay because the screw itself is not going to hold it okay what happened the screw is going to come loose so what happened this two pin helps keep the engine and the transmission firmly okay so they cannot move when they get into the two pin and the bolt just keep it in okay but these two things take a lot of it's really help a lot basically when you do an engine job is basically taking some parts of the old engine and put on the used one but sometimes sensor sometimes it's no work it's a later model engine and you're trying to put a like a new engine in the car but this engine is the same engine so what we're gonna do we're gonna be taking stuff apart on the old one the, the engine i'm gonna install it's already come with the flywheel and everything on the engine but the only problem is i will have to take out the top intake remove all of this and I want to use back like most of the electronics and that one so I don't have to do any programming or something because sometimes when you put an engine and you have this throttle body here sometimes you have to reprogram it because it's not matching with that car because of the they reprogram with the VIN number and sometimes they don't collaborate you have to redo it with a computer what you're gonna be doing removing everything check the spark plug and when I change the engine something I always do is to is to check the timing belt okay make sure that the timing belt is is good you open the section of the cover and make sure and check the belt if the belt is cracked or the belt look fairly new then i'm going to use the engine like that i wouldn't change the timing belt but if i see the belt is cracked it's, it's too loose then I'm, what i'm going to do i'm going to replace that belt because i don't want to finish the job give the guy two months down the line and the belt broke and then you have to end up replacing the engine again because it's not the job you want to like take lightly but this kind of work you want to do it perfect the first time because the second time around you're just not going to be a pay for doing it right so that is the main thing that you have to take a lot of precaution excuse me i always tell the poor customer change it change your oil regularly especially for the first 5,000 kilometers because some people neglect changing oil they just drive like that so you know because when it's under your warranty you have to like protect the engine because people when they know it's under warranty they drive like they don't care you know what i'm saying so so that's about it so most thing here we're not going to be using because we already have it for that engine so basically what what we just going to be using is like mainly the block okay of the engine and the intake because every day exhaust manifold everything is going to be reused so everything is back there okay so i hope that this video could encourage you to do a job like this if you have the time and someone who is starting this field or someone who have the place and the time to do a project like this it's it's a very simple project but it's you have to have a lot of time on your hand a lot of patience to do a job like this okay so i hope i can help you so subscribe to my video and look out for a lot more video in the future okay bye